If you thought that the United States presidential elections were cutthroat, you haven't seen an Italian election. After three days and five rounds of inconclusive voting in the Italian parliament, incumbent President Giorgio Napolitano was re-elected for an unprecedented second term. Ideally, Napolitano will be able to start putting together a new government with the ability to break free of the current political gridlock and revive the stagnating economy. That may be easier said than done, though. Speaking to an economics commentator, the New York Times reports the way the political system has behaved over the last few weeks showed that the idea the country is on a bad equilibrium hasn't really sunk in. They say they understand, but they don't really understand. There's also the matter of Napolitano's age. At almost 88 years old, he'll be close to 95 by the time his second seven-year term ends. RT reports that he accepted the decision as a part of his duty, saying, I feel obliged to offer my availability as requested. I cannot shun my responsibility towards the nation. The Guardian says the presidency is largely a ceremonial role, but is crucial in periods of instability as only the head of the state has the power to dissolve parliament, call elections, and name a new prime minister. There has been some resistance to Napolitano's new mandate, though. Al Jazeera reports that opposition opponent and former comedian Beppe Grillo called for protest outside the parliament building later on Saturday. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant. Multiple sources, a broader view.